after Luis Salas on how to get government benefits because the illegal aliens mafia stole her, uh, insult her house uh, located at 54B East Blackwell Street, Dover, New Jersey. Luis Salas on after this event had to go um, and get government benefits which she worked dozens of years to pay for and then even after she got her government benefits even that the illegal aliens mafia stole from her so currently the Ill uh, illegal aliens mafia members across the country are defrauding the USA government and applying for welfare and government benefits different government benefits with her name social security number and identity and this is because Kevin McGuire uh, sold, uh, stole and sold her identity uh, and uh, had uh, illegal aliens mafia across the country use it to defraud the USA government and get benefits that don't, don't belong to them. So, let me see. Mm. Okay. Um, this continues. Um, uh, thus I will tell my caretaker to take me to court anyways um, since Mr. McGuire doesn't give me his doctors he, since Mr. McGuire doesn't give his doctor which is the doctor that the only doctor that Luis Aoyasun can see um, permission to do or write any letters that uh, that uh, that attorney Castellano requests in this letter, in his letter dated uh, February 19th, 2016. Okay, so uh, as the illegal aliens mafia doctor, I mean, as the illegal aliens mafia or ex illegal aliens mafia lawyer uh, confessed during an interview, the illegal aliens drive. Uh, Still, the still the the illegal aliens mafia steals the identities of the citizens uh, in their homes, of course. Um, and after that, they give the the USA citizens homes to illegal aliens mafia members. And after that, they they see that the USA citizens go under the poverty level uh, and have to apply for government benefits. And then they steal those government benefits and sell sell them to illegal aliens across the country, which they have done to Luis Aoyarsson and to uh, Italian Americans, millions of Italian Italian Americans and millions of um, Irish Americans and Hispanic Americans in the country and uh, dif uh, Americans from different descents. So um, this documents and confirms what the ex uh, attorney of the illegal aliens mafia uh, said during an interview that, and I quote, the, the mafia persecutes and hunts down the uh, USA citizens after they steal their homes and uh, identities until, quote unquote, they drop dead. And this is what they are uh, doing with Luis Aoyasun since the court is requesting for Luis Aoyasun to get a letter and there is no hospital or doctor that will see her, uh, that will give her a letter. She's supposed to go to the court even if she's dying. And then if she dies in court, they're going to blame the caretaker and they're going to accuse her of manslaughter or negligence and put her in jail and uh, wash their hands like um, uh, nothing has ever happened. They're going to say, well, if Luisa Yarsun was feeling bad, she should have notified the court and uh, we uh, would have postponed the hearing. But uh, with this letter that uh, Luisa Yarsun was sent by the landlord's attorney, um, they are obliging her or forcing her to go to court even if she's dying which they know um, is going to happen because uh, she can have a brain hemorrhage again uh, and go into a coma and then be disconnected by the illegal aliens mafia they're not going to uh, stay in a coma for long like the first time that she had 
the severe migraine headaches and then the epileptic seizure and then the brain hemorrhage. She was in a coma for two weeks and it was not, she was not disconnected. But now if she goes into a coma, the illegal aliens mafia will see that she gets disconnected within two or three days. And this is the, uh, what's it, uh, the uh, documentation of the illegal aliens mafia procedures against uh, USA citizens. Okay, as you can see, this is the letter that uh, I have been telling you or reading about. The letter says Vincent Castellano at the top, Law Offices of Vincent Castellano, PC. And I don't understand because he works for a law firm, so I don't understand why he says Law Offices. Anyway, they falsified documents every day, so I'm not surprised that they changed the names of the law firm uh, either. It says Luis Sao Yarsun, 30, uh, 34 Highland Avenue, apartment to Diaz in David. He forgot to uh, mention that it, this was an elderly and, and disabled citizens building. And he says Highland Senior Residence LLC V Luis Sao Yarsun, which is um, Highland Senior Residence uh, versus Luis Sao Yarsen. After uh, several investigation and documentation, we discovered that Highland Senior Residence has uh, other three names. So in total, the same company has four different names. Highland Senior Residence, Cornell Pace, um, and two other names, which is documented in the uh, Answer in Luisa Oyarsson's answer to the illegal eviction. Well, the letter s reads Dear Miss Oyarsson, my client and I went to court this morning, that was on the 19th of February, for the scheduled trial, but we were advised that you had requested an adjournment because of illness. Illness. Uh, Judge Gaffney ordered me to write. Uh, you this le this letter advising you of the new trial date on March 8, 2016 at 11 a.m. He told me to advise you that you will not be granted another adjournment unless you provide me in the court with a written adjournment request at least one day prior to the scheduled trial, scheduled uh, trial date uh, together with a doctor's letter specific, specific uh, blah, blah, blah specifically stating your inability to attend to court on, May, uh, Mar on March 8, 2016 due to illness. Uh, as um, this lawyer, the court uh, and the illegal aliens mafia knows, it is impossible for Luisa Oyarsson to um, get this letter even if she's dying. No doctor in the, in the sanctuary state of New York State is going to write that letter for Luisa Oyarsson. They're going to let her die and then they're going to say, we didn't think that she was going to die because that's what the Illegal Aliens Mafia does according to the uh, ex-lawyer which was interviewed. The Illegal Aliens Mafia ex-lawyer which was interviewed uh, and who stated that they uh, antagonized, follow, and persecute the citizens until they drop dead. So this, that's precisely what they want Luis Oyarsson to do: drop dead, because they know they cannot they, they cannot possibly win this case because they know that Luis Oyarsson has uh, been ch overcharged, trained, and they have to, by law, give her back the fifty-three thousand and some change plus interest that she overpaid uh, this um, crooked company that uh, is government subsidized and is supposed to charge elderly disabled citizens only 30% of their income and $875 per month is not 30% of $1065 per month which is Luis Howyerson's social security income the only income that she has. Anyway, and then uh, he has the signature there and um, it is written on this letter. Uh, Luisa Oyarsson lets them know what happened. He says, 
Later I received after three of, uh, of my family members died and another family member member called me and left me uh, and left the, their death notice on my answering machine. Again, Luis Aliasun got severely ill not only because of this uh, unexpected death in the family, uh, which are, were uh, family members who were dear to her, but because on top of uh, all the stress and antagonizing and persecution of the illegal aliens mafia members that persecute her all the time and of the uh, harassment that uh, Joe Gendels sent his uh, employees to do against Luisa Oyarsson. She receives this uh, bad news about three different members of her family dying. So it was just too much. Uh, and she, I guess her brain could no longer take, her, take it. Okay, this is the um, answer of the illegal eviction uh, okay okay which is notarized by Luisa Oyarsson by a notary public uh, you can see Luisa Oyarsson signed there And then the witness, and then uh, an order public notarize the document. Okay, this is uh, Luisa Oyarsson's doctor's uh, one of her doctor's letter. She has been getting the same letters for years, uh, even though these letters, this letter, excuse me, doesn't have the all the illnesses that she has, only some of the illnesses. And again, her condition. Um, as all the doctors that she have seen have stated is guarded, which means that uh, she can die any any day, in any moment. Uh, if it's November 16, 2010, to whom it may concern, this letter is to, notif uh, is to certify that Ms. Oyarsson suffers from the following condition, seizures, epilepsy, low, lower back pain, multiple sclerosis, degenerated joint disease, which is, um, uh, her bones are, are are brittled. They can break any time. If she falls or anything, she, they can break, and it takes a long, long time for them to be fixed again. History of cervical cancer. She has had two cancer operations so far, and she's dying of cancer because uh, of a lack of medical care because her stolen and sold Medicaid uh, to illegals. Uh, a sofa. Uh, the, uh, the ulcers in her stomach, migraine headaches, two leaking heart valves, osteoporosis, arthritis, uh, cervical cancer uh, procedure. She had a hysterectomy done in 1971 and then um, the cancer came back on the walls of her pelvis and they again removed it on uh, 1998. A very good surgeon, but uh, he said that she needed to uh, see an oncologist every three months or so, or every six months at, at least, to make sure the cancer doesn't come back and spread or all uh, spread all over. And due to the stall stealing of her New York State uh, straight Medicaid and, and the selling of it to illegal aliens, she hasn't been able to see her oncologist or any other of her doctors. And that's why she's dying of cancer now, among other illnesses. And she's also hard of hearing, and she has uh, problems with her pancreas. Uh, this is uh, another thing that she got after her second cancer operation. Uh, a lot of problems with her pancreas. Pancreas is very bad. Anyways, the uh, letter continues to read. Given her condition, it is imperative that she has access to a telephone as well as electricity and heat. This is because if she, she doesn't, uh, her life might be at risk since she needs assistance during and after an epileptic uh, episode. Additionally, please note 
that this patient is homebound and cannot live alone. Her condition puts her at risk for uh, possible falls, subsequent bleedings, for which she requires constant telephone, electricity, and the care of her, of her caretaker. Um, thank you for your attention. Sincerely, uh, Dr. Aida Soto, uh, Dr. Aida Cruz Soto, uh, medical doctor. That's her signature, and it was signed on um, February 2012. Uh, and then again on January 2013, uh, the last time that she was able to see this doctor because her uh, New York State straight Medicaid was stolen and uh, her cancer and as well as her other illnesses have been spreading all over and getting worse while illegal aliens mafia members across the country enjoyed an excellent health with her New York State straight Medicaid and identity, which is not fair. Okay, then um, she sends this uh, uh, summary proceeding, uh, tenant summary proceedings manual for the courts outside of New York City. This is the the manual uh, that Luisa Yarsun got with um, the procedure, the procedures that uh, tenants need to follow, and this uh, says that she needs to. Uh, file uh, an answer with the court. That's why she uh, faxed it to the court. And after she gave it uh, to the attorney Castellano, uh, the aforementioned attorney Castellano. Okay, he, he says here, if you believe you have a, a a defense, it is important to come to court and tell the court clerk or judge what the, the what defense is what the defense is. Uh, since Lisa Oyarsson went and saw the court, I mean the, the judge, and the judge wanted a written answer, then she had to do a written answer. You can tell the court, uh, judge or clerk, about these defenses and others you might have, even if, if you are giving an oral answer instead of a written answer. Okay, she gave a written answer. So. Okay, and this is what is going on with um, this uh, illegal aliens mafia killing the USA citizens after they steal their identities and government benefits.